You're watching TVC Breakfast. Let's get into our last discussion of the day. The outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic forced many countries to look inwards as the world struggled then to understand the virus and create a vaccine. Now, many countries came up with different herbal remedies to treat the virus. News of a herbal drink made in Madagascar to treat COVID trended worldwide for months. Tridomedical practitioners in Nigeria were not left out as many came up with herbal solutions to tackle the virus. They argued that, Nigeria, that Africa is blessed with plants and wildlife which are the natural resources for making medicines. Just recently, American rapper Mick Mill gave credence to the efficacy of African herbs after he used it to treat a chronic stomach condition. He said he had been battling the condition for two years and no orthodox medicine worked for him. This has once again created a buzz for herbal medicine as many are now calling for more funding to aid research in creating trado medicines. They say this will make more people embrace its usage. This is the crux of our discussion next. And joining me in the studio is a herbal nutritionist, Oladende Ario. It's nice to have you join me. You know, the point there is, a lot of people don't know this side of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, each time it comes home, yeah, because someone will look at me like, hey. Exactly. Uh, because the point there is, we are always here talking about Nigeria's um, issue and policy, all of that. government it, issues it, and Of all course, that. security challenges and so on. Yeah. So they don't have that idea of the fact that you are a herbal person, somebody yeah. who understands all of these. But talk to us, please. Before you ask your question, mm. I don't like that language. Calling Western medicine orthodox medicine. Okay. And now referring to herbal medicine as alternative medicine. Okay. Alternative well, to what? What makes that superior? No, the problem is the, the I guess it's just the semantics no, of it see, or the it, usage of it. I, I, the, I really the, brought it up. Mm. Right, because it's a global challenge. Mm. And it came upon us, the African, okay. as a sort of colonization. My current paper that I'm writing now is colonization destructive interference mm -hmm. in the African, in the life of the African, right now. So we see the traces everywhere, mm -hmm. and this one of it, okay. why do you call so, it so, alternative? So, so the use of the language goes a long way yes. to putting one up and putting the other yes. down. They call okay. it what makes it orthodox? Mm -hmm. No, tell me now. Before they came to Africa, the, the, we had people living here. Mm. They had their system of living. They had their ways of treating issues, attending to medical care, their, mm. their health issues as well. They just came and overran us, condemned our language, condemned our belief system, this little, uh, our ways of uh, well, the, of, uh, well, the point uh, is, our health issues. It, yeah, but if you, if you look at it, when it comes from the perspective of science and the procedure of science, this the 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 other the one that is adopted which is Mike. which is no hang on hang on hang <laughs> on the one that is universally adopted and verifiable where you know that there are two millimeter doses of this as an ingredient of this and in combination with this and that and it's verifiable where if you take it to london or you take it to to lagos or you take it to china it's it remains so the same and is verifiable that is what that is why it is called orthodox so that you use yeah. There's a, there's a ritual. There's, there's, a, there's a protocol for it. Okay. Now, in, in, the herb, in, the, in, the, <laughs> in the herbal world... It's a deliberate misconception no, the, that the, the herbal medicine has is, no dosage. It, it, is, it, is, ah. it is open to interpretation. Because the, po because the point there is... Because the point, anyway, why, why are we even not giving okay. this? Let's get into the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. All right, now, now, talk to us, basically. Um, we have often talked about how the efficacy of, of um, herbs right. and all of those traditional medicine, like we call it. Okay. Yet, we've not been able to, you know, lay emphasis either with fund or by attention or by creating protocols for them, for us to bring them up to the level where we can use them universally, at least even continentally, wow. Thank for you ourselves. Very much. Thank you very much. I'll say this to you. Mm. Um, you know how we began, mm. but over time, the Western world too, they've come to realize and appreciate some things in what people call herbs now. Mm. And if you Google anything, any any leaf or whatever, 
you will find a list of benefits and discoveries that have been made regarding what values they add to human health. Mm. They are, they, I mean, the, the African man didn't write those words. It came from them. And I think after extensive survey, research, tests, and stops, they came up with that. But governments in Africa, I won't say Nigeria now, have not keyed into that to understand that, oh, we have these things here. Let's begin to look deeply into them. Let's begin to appreciate them, whereby you can identify and isolate mm. specifics now with all the benefits that they can give to humanity. Here, look, I, I, I'm an apostle of eating right and then living right. Mm. What do I mean? Virtually all the vegetables and the fruits we have here, they add value to keeping people healthy. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that what we call disease is a state of your body not being at ease. Hmm. They now say it has a disease. Okay? When you're not when you are not at ease, when you don't take in the right things into your system, mm -hmm. appropriate things. And that's why for me, maintaining a good health starts from eating right. Hmm. Now, government in Africa, as I told you, they've not come to appreciate these things, whereby they might they might be created some special funding for professionals in that field. Mm. But for on instance, the other hand, but on the other I hand. I was just telling your producer before we came on air now that there's a particular back of a tree mm. that I was trying to turn into a powder and pack into tea bags whereby if by 8, 9 p.m. you are feeling like you're not going to be getting good sleep, just drop it in water, hot or cold water, allow it to dispense mm. and then drink it. You will sleep like a baby. Wow. Back of a tree. Just one. I didn't say I'm not mixing things now. Hmm. Yeah, just one item. And you see, in the course of my practice, what I've seen is that all, all the herbs that I produce, I don't mix things deliberately. But when you mix A with B, hmm. there must be a reaction. Of course. And it may turn toxic. Hmm. Yeah. But for everything that I attend to, it's just one item. Yeah, and these are laboratory tested and confirmed things I'm telling you. So perhaps this will be a chance to call on the government, right? To begin to pay attention to some of these things. When right. COVID came, hmm. it was a huge global challenge. And um, so much attention was given to the global physical companies. Hmm. What you had here was like talking down on us. Oh, yeah, go and bring your solution. Well, you know, nobody said, look, there's money on the table. What you want to do, let us know. Mm -hmm. We will fund it. It didn't happen anywhere in Africa. Of course, it didn't happen here, too. Mm -hmm. Madagascar was an experiment. In, in Madiga, in it was in an Madagascar. experiment, mm -hmm. but it worked for them. But that would, like, it worked for them. Mm -hmm. But there were controversies around it. Not normally, why? Because mm -hmm. the pharmaceutical companies that control the market, they wouldn't want any new entrant or a competitor. It's not in their interest. So in all of these things, there's the business side of it. There's the keeping people well and alive side of it as well. And that is the problem. All right. Now, in a situation where government is distracted with a lot of societal issues, from security to infrastructure to development to and all of that, and they're not paying the right attention to issues like this that you're talking about, how about... Those of you who know the vision of, you know, and the efficacy and the power of, the, of, of medicines like this, mm. nutrition and all of these, how about coming together to attract funds outside of government? How, how difficult uh, or cha it, how challenging is that? It's not what we have not done before. Mm. Um, for instance, I have a proposal with about two, two, two three banks now. Mm on my harbor factory, which was uh, being built in Mowe, hmm. not too far from here. But they, they look at me so and say, how can this man, so educated, be looking in this direction? Forgetting that my education enhanced me. Exactly. And has helped me hmm. to appreciate these things hmm. more. When I approached NAVDAC, and then I said, of registering my, my solution, I have 22 solutions anyway. They were delighted. And then things were sent to the laboratory. And as I'm talking to you, Twelve of them have been tested and found worthy and helpful, okay? But I got stuck at the point of buying the machines now hmm. that will help me to package them in a modern-day manner that will make them acceptable and applicable 
as you said, anywhere in the world. Yeah. If you see the powder in tea bag format, and you are taking like tea as against putting the powder in a bottle hmm. and saying use exactly. a spoonful. Packaging. Pa like, so, so <laughs> packaging pa is packaging. Yeah. Now the machine was three million naira way back in April. Because of the forex naira crisis that we've had recently is now costing over five million naira. Hmm. Making it now doubly difficult for, for so this so, is so this is just done, this, this is just all of that. This is just the back of that tree, just, for, it, just, yes. just to make somebody sleep I am peacefully. You, it, there, there's no issues around it. Hmm. So no issues besides, around besides it. that, what what other um, uh, solutions are there? Okay, no, but, okay simple let, solutions. Let's go into it. For hmm. instance, hmm. people do not appreciate the power in uh, bitter leaf. Hmm. Yeah. It does the, the bitter leaf, leaf we that we use to cook. Yeah, and you know the problem when they want to cook bitter leaf, they wash away the bitterness, hmm. which is part of the power and has the potency to do a lot to the human body. Hmm. But <laughs> when we, I have a neighbor, they see me harvesting leaves and washing, just rinsing them and eating them straight up. And they're like, ha. When it's not an animal. <laughs> but over time, <laughs> over time, hmm. they've come to, they're now my converts. They now, do, they even do more. What does bitter leaf do to someone anyway? What, what's the, what's if the you are diabetic, nutrition of, yeah. you have issues with sugar, it helps to reduce the sugar content in your bloodstream. And over time, it will keep it reasonable. Hmm. Whereby, you will not have surges again. Okay? Well, I mean, it won't go as high as 150, you mm -hmm. can stay within the limits, okay? It does that. The, again, it also helps you to relax and sleep. Hmm. Yeah, that, I mean, that simple bit. Yeah. I, mean. I, rem I, remember, I remember drinking um, the, the juice from... The juice uh, from bitter leaf before oh, it's yeah. really bitter actually right no yeah. no but a lot Man, that's what people run away with from. your gray beard hmm. with this your gray beard <laughs> you're no longer a small boy you are an elder and an adult <laughs> now you need less of sugary things yeah whatever sweetens your mouth will do damage to mm. your system but whatever is sour and bitter in your mouth will help your composition mm. and that's the reality we also have the commonly called I mean, the one commonly called scent leaf if mm. you're in yoruba it's highly medicinal, but thank God for the Igbo people. They use it a lot in making all manner of pepper soup and mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. It helps. Then there's a seed available in the dose state. The way that washes sugar up people's bloodstream is so massive that when I'm giving anybody, I'll tell you, please, oh, every day, make sure you check your sugar level. Because it might take it below the below, right? acceptable. So instead of having excess, excess sugar, you might be having, you know, inadequate sugar mm -hmm. content in your blood. These things are there. In Benin, it's selling for 500 naira. Now, it's 2,000 naira. And let me tell you, these things, over time, they reverse your disease conditions. But people will not take it. If, if people are, there are people who are watching this program, they had prostate enlargement. Okay, mm. prostate enlargement, which is now has been killing exactly. men over exactly. time, and still killing till today. Mm. All the things required to to build up the, the the I mean to treat it, they are available here. A combination of just two or three things, and then they are well. I have people who have had prostate issue for 16, 18 years. Just mm. a mixture of those things. Today they are weaned off drugs. It's not, it's not, God didn't order us that when you get to 40, 50, you now go and create a bag to carry drugs around mm. as if you're an invalid. No. No. Mm. You see, so, so maybe we can create more of these opportunities when people in power, when they listen, maybe they will be touched and say, look, let's even start. You could be at lower government level, state or federal. Anybody that has a solution that you think works, Take it to laboratory. The NAPDAC has uh, certified laboratories that you can take your things to, mm. and they will write a report on it. How how do you? Because I, I know you you can be you you can be busy. Of course, you have very tight schedules. Be, besides that, how do you go researching and finding out? Like you mentioned, some of the seeds in uh, those state and all of that. How right. do you go finding some of these things in different <laughs> places? 
<laughs> let me show you. Because you are in the Metropolitan Lagos. Let me shock you. Mm. I was not born in an hospital. My mom had eight children before me. They all died. So when she got pregnant with me, I don't know how it happened. The focus was on traditional way of keeping this boy alive. So I was born in the, in the shrine of Babalawu. So mm. from my first second on planet Earth, it's been half and half and half and half. My first contact with Western medicine was inoculation against tetanus that they gave us in primary school those mm. days. Yeah, and the, yeah, the one, the one. <laughs> <laughs> and getting back home that day, mm. I was my body was on fire, and it was like, who authorized them to <laughs> <laughs> inoculate this man? You want him to go again? You know because that was that thinking that oh maybe I'm an Abiku, mm. the tribal child, okay. and all my names reflect that. You know, Kashimawu, mm. Oladeide, Kokumo, Itunulu. Those are my, you know. I, I have to manage my names now <laughs> to let them look for. So, 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 so people don't run away from you. <laughs> you know, so so that was my starting point, mm. and uh, I grew up appreciating those things until I had the chance, opportunity to study herbalism abroad, and it was fun for eighteen months. Mm. So, and I did that why? Because my my dad had stroke, okay, before he died. My mom also had stroke, and it is just generally known that if your parents have stroke, hmm. there's a high chance of you having stroke. Unfortunately, I was a small boy when my father died, so nothing like uh, post-mortem was done on him to identify what killed him. But my mom, I did, and the doctors, the, the report says he, she died from undetected and untreated diabetes. Hmm. You understand? So it now dawned on me that, okay, if I'm going to live, live well, I maybe live longer than them, I must start taking care of myself. Therefore, mm. so that was how I came out. And, and you look good. You look well, really good. For my age, I you look really good. Thank you very much. It's all <laughs> due to that. Um, I eat cooked food only once a day. Mm. My breakfast is this set of leaves, five pieces. I've had it today and water. Okay, that's my breakfast. So we should all go back into eating. We uh, have to go back to nature. We are organized. natural beings. Hmm. We are organic hmm. beings, not inorganic beings. You know, we have to go back to nature. It's cheaper and then more assuring. For instance, if I bring a bowl of a wedu, the same wedu they used to eat at Malaneba, mm -hmm. and say, "My drink this thing," you can never have too much of a wedu, mm. can you? No. You so well, well, yeah, you I, not, I remember. You, you agree I, I, I remember to my. It? The, it's, it's going to be challenging. Exactly. But the point there is, if I know, if I because I can be adventurous sometimes. If I know that, okay, it this, shouldn't be an adventure. Hmm. It should be deliberate and sustainable. Hmm. That's where we're going. People should deliberately go for those things because they will be very helpful. They will help them a lot more. If you eat buri, you know, there's this what I live. Okay. There's one they do in Abekuta. Without uh, a goosey, mm. none another, they call it a borrow We will borrow with a bar. I promise you, you will not have issues with <laughs> constipation <laughs> and all of that. The natural but, but the bar is heavy, so how do you don't worry? The, the combination have a way okay. of delivering value to your body. I see. Yeah, wow. Now, we also produce um, PK seed oil, you know, commonly called a okay. very popular among the what does that? What does that um, mean? A DNA, those, in fact, for to start with, it treats body rashes. Okay. Okay. For babies, it's best rubbed on their body as against uh, the the factory the manufactured and uh, uh, inorganic, and that. you know, hmm. that the people use on them. Then if they have soft head, just drop it there. It goes. If a child should faint, hmm. drop it right into the eye, ear, and and uh, the child will come back alive. Wow. Yes, and for you with your uh, bald head, if you want <laughs> hair on your head, start rubbing it on your head. Oh, you really? Will come up with very I, strong. But, not, but the point there is, I like the natural uh, because I, I don't, I, I don't, don't have the stress I'm of not encouraging you to start. <laughs> I'm just telling you, hmm. it's a possibility. It does all of that. Hmm. Then of course, you will not begin to talk of having hemorrhoid issues and all of that if you just take a spoonful in the morning. You know, but people, when people are so busy, like we wake up every morning, everybody's, how do we get to, you know, 
how do we learn some of these things to change our habits? And even if we want to, for instance, like you're, you're educating me now, right. I want to start that kind of a life now with eating five pieces of leaves every day. <laughs> <laughs> but how do I see the leaves? Two weeks ago, mm. I put a resource station for 30 minutes mm. to discover cause herbal medicine. The man was like, eh. I said, look, I'm not going to come here and see what is not verifiable. Mm. Then that will, in fact, I don't even mind submitting my scripts to NAVDAC mm. or to the Institute in Yaba, mm. Pharmaceutical Research Institute, right? Mm. That they will vet what I will say on air. Because people, people don't have that knowledge. And the Bible says, above all getting, says you should get mm. knowledge, knowledge, get wisdom, mm. and above all, understanding. Mm. So they need to know information is knowledge, mm. knowledge is power. Now I've told you a few things. You can put them to practice. Mm. I'll start eating leaves now. Exactly. The, 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 but the leaves, I don't know which one. No, is, it, no, is it the no, bitter leaves? I just told you now. Is Abamoda. Abamoda. You can Google it. Ab is the name Abamoda? Abamoda. Yes, it's Yoruba. But that's Yoruba. It doesn't make any name. So just Google so, it. Abamoda. They, they call it miracle leaf. Why? Researchers have shown over the years the potency that it carries and uh, the capability of the leaf to treat um, a battery of ailments and put your body back to form. Okay? Wow. So, so we have no business still spending so much. People, used, I mean, some of my friends, they used to spend money, monthly, hmm. buying uh, hypertension drugs, diabetes hmm. and all of that, hmm. arthritis. You can eat your right. way to good so, health. So in, in, so in that, all of this has to do with being natural. Everything being natural we need, and everything having we the need, knowledge. Yeah, everything so we need is out there. To yourself. Okay. We, ha we have to leave it here now, but I, I am going to ensure that we come back again when you are not reviewing the papers. <laughs> so, <that> we <laughs> so, so, we can, so we can go into this thing proper and yeah. that people will get to understand the, 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 the power and the benefits of herbal nutrition. Right. And yeah, all of that when really that happens, mm. we'll be talking specifics okay. now. All right. We'll pick giving ailments or diseases okay. and, then, and then mention what and what can be done, mm. you know, when that is identified. All right. And then we'll also talk about collaborating with, uh, with uh, medical sciences and all of that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Oladin in the area my, my for pleasure. coming on the program. I'm at home with this. More than I know. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed myself. I know. <laughs>